Welcome to Missouri Star Live. I am Misty Doan, and I am so excited to spend this wonderful Tuesday with you. As always, we've got Liz behind the camera. Excellent. And we've got our wonderful film crew making sure you guys can see all the things. Um, just in case you were expecting Jenny today, we had a little bit of miscommunication, and she is busy on another project right now, so she couldn't make it today, but, you know, she sends all of her love and uh, well wishes. So uh, hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And Liz, let's see where we have people tuning in from. So we have people tuning in from Julia from Ohio and Bonnie from Arizona. Nothing? Nope. Okay, that's much better. Right? Can you hear her now? Yes? Yay. Okay, so Betty from Arkansas. Donna from Chicago, Carolyn from Scotland, hmm. and Barbara Haynes says she's working on putting the binding on her first ever by herself quilt. Oh, I'm that's sure. awesome. Barbara's binding her first quilt. I'm not sure if anyone can hear Liz. We're having some technical difficulties with her microphone. The joys of live, but we'll try and work that out. So for any of you that didn't hear those shout outs, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to read them from, so we will get that working so she can chime in uh, here pretty quick. But we have lots of fun things to cover today. It is the launch of our holiday gift guide. I know it might seem like it's a little soon to talk about Christmas, but it will be here before we know it. And we have some wonderful things that we want to share with all of you. Um, are we good, guys? Can you hear me? They can hear me. OK. All right, very good. All right, I didn't want to go in any further if you guys can't hear. So we've got lots of fun stuff to talk about, wonderful, wonderful gift ideas, and lots of exclusives to us here at Missouri Star. So let's talk a little bit about those. First of all, we've got our very popular um, thimble containers, mugs, and cups. And you see these, we use um, a lot of these on set every single week. So if you see Jenny's tutorials or me on live, uh, we use one of the containers to store all of our gadgets and you can see here it holds you know rotary cutters and pins just beautifully and it looks adorable sitting on your uh, sewing counter so I use that a lot and then we also somewhere have made a pin cushion out of the smaller one and I love the new aqua color that you can get all of these in they're really really cute oh here we go she's passing that in so you can see we have a former live that we did where we turned it into a pin cushion. Um, this is the white one. It also comes in really cute aqua. And all of these um, are available like that. And also look at these mugs. So cute. I just love it so much. And I love that it, you know, has a little quilty goodness to enjoy your cocoa or whatever, or coffee, whatever your heart desires. So it's super fun. Um, let's see. Anything else? else that we need to cover Liz or I guess you're still she is still unable to talk to us that is sad it's okay all right we let's let's keep on the the track of exclusives here at Missouri Star so we've got all these great thimbles and we had this adorable thimble ornament that we launched last year it's still available you know what should I sit it here for you is that better okay so we've got that but we also have this new Spool of thread ornament, and I am just obsessed with it. It is so, so it is darling. So cute. And if you look closely here, it says Merry Stitchmas along the bottom of the spool, and then it has our Missouri Star logo on the top. It's so cute. Can you see the, the words down there, Noah? Awesome. So we've got Merry Stitchmas and, and Let It Sew. And this one says sew. Let It Sew. So, so cute. Just adorable, and they, they look cute together. Oh, I love them. I feel like I need like a separate little miniature sewing room Christmas tree where I can put all these cute uh, notions. Just have like little old antique spools. I can see like making so a garland. Pretty. Are you guys following? Oh, so cute. So these are really, really adorable. We also have our great um, Missouri Star Mr. Bottles. This is, it says, quilt while the iron is hot. And if you're not familiar with these uh, spray bottles, they're kind of amazing. Um, I can demo it, but I will get water everywhere. I guess that's fine. 
but if you'd kind of just like pump it up and it keeps misting. And so it's just like so much fun. I hope you guys could see that. It was like a cloud of perfect mist and it's, it's the perfect amount of mist for quilting. You can just, you know, spray down your fabric really quickly and it doesn't soak it. You don't get that real heavy stream, but it, it is awesome. My husband also likes to steal mine and use it to water the plants. So, you know, multi-use. Now that's really funny actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, where is your mister? I'm like, in the sewing room. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> that's exactly right. So it's super cute. We've got some great holiday pins that are just nice and festive, which would be great for a stocking stuffer or anything like that. And let's see, we've got so much to cover. So I'll just keep cruising along, I guess. Do we have any questions or anything? Anybody need to see anything again, Liz, that you're seeing come up? Well, let's say Penny says that spray bottle is amazing. It is. It is amazing. And um, also the, the mugs also make great stocking stuffers. Yes, absolutely. Fabulous stocking stuffers, and these are like awesome to give to your sewing friends because you can put like a few little goodies inside, wrap it up in a little goodie bag, or one of our, um, we did a fabric gift bag, so you could put it all inside of a reusable fabric That's gift right. bag. It's a great little gift to give to your sewing friends, which I think anyone would love. They're just so darling. They are. I, I love them. So that covers that. We have a ton of great things like this that would be perfect for sewing room decor, sewing room organization. And so like we've got a few of these signs. This says eat, sleep, quilt. And these are actually really interesting because they look like they're metal and that they would be super heavy and kind of hard to hang, but they're actually, I don't know what they're made out of, but they're not as heavy as they appear to be. They're actually um, kind of lightweight and awesome. So they, they would easily prop up on a shelf and you wouldn't have to worry about having to anchor them too much if you decide to hang it on the wall, which I think is really cool. Right, so we they have, have that cool kind of brushed metal Yeah, look. I really thought that they were mm -hmm. metal, and then when I picked them up, I was pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. to see that they weren't so heavy. Yeah. So that is awesome. So that's Eat, Sleep, Quilt, and we also have this really cute antique sewing machine um, silhouette, which I love this one. This is really, really cute. It's really pretty. So we have that. So we have a, a couple questions about um, the mister, can you sure. use that for spray starch? Oh, that's an interesting question. And I think yes. Okay. Um, I think that some people I, I've seen use the best press or um, the flatter in there. Inside and then it also is, a it mists in a great, like it's not that thick spray exactly. that can come out. That mister is really great for that. So it doesn't have to be just water. That's a great idea. I'm going to have to try that because mm -hmm. I love using best press. So no, just make sure Jake doesn't put best press, best on, press the plants. on the plant. That's <laughs> bad news. <laughs> bad news. So maybe I'll keep the best press at the one at work. There you go. And stick with water at home. But that's a, that's a really good idea. I would think you would just need to make sure that it doesn't, that you kind of flush it out with water, maybe in between when you run out, Yep. run a little bit of water through it to keep it, um, the, the spray nozzle clear, but other than that, idea. I don't see why it would be a problem. So and then Jane also says, I recently made the quilt in the background. It will be our Christmas tree when our kids oh, have their in-laws for the holiday. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, this is our Christmas tree chevron. And so this is the full size version. And then we also have a mini version. And I think um, if you watch this tutorial, there's also a pinwheel yes. layout that Jenny did, which is super, super fun. It's just half square triangles. Just half square triangles. So easy. So, and do, did we link to that pattern, Liz? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. So if you guys are interested in this pattern or the tutorial, we'll make sure you have a link to that. It's really easy. And like I said, you can make it using any size half square triangle. So if you want a little wall hanging, uh, which we did on live, was it last year or the year before? Last year. Um, it, it's perfect, especially for um, kids in college or um, small apartments or things like that. If you don't have a ton of room, you can make a great little wall hanging so they can still put their presents under it and have a little bit of decor. So uh, be sure to consider that. It's really, really sweet, really sweet and fun. So this is also another one of my favorites that we have. I think this is so cute, this little button coaster. And I love the uh, cracked finish. I just think it's so so cute. Do you know if it comes in multiple colors? I think yes. I think I, so too. I think those are on the, so if you click through the link 
to the holiday gift guide, it yes. has even more goodies. Yes, and it does. And maybe we should talk a little bit about that. If you go to our website right now, there is a big banner that, that will take you right to it. And we've also linked to the holiday gift guide that will take you to all of this stuff that I'm showing you plus more. So be sure to check that out. Um, what? Not, sure. Not quite yet. <laughs> We're almost there. The guys are like waiting with bated breath. <laughs> so, so we, we um, have actually a couple of new additions that we've added to make this year even easier for you to shop. And so let's cover that a little bit. We have a printable wish list. So you can actually print this off and give it to a loved one or maybe you're a husband who's watching uh, for, a, for your wife or something. You can print this off and give this to her and she or whoever, he or she, who wants to mark all of these goodies. Um, and it just kind of gives you that old old time classic Christmas to be able to mark it on paper and really select the things that you want and send it in that letter to Santa so you can get all your Christmas goodies. But we also have an amazing wish list on our website and we get a lot of questions about how to use that wish list. So the video team has actually put together a great video. So we're gonna roll that right now so you can see how to add all these great items to your wish list. Wanting to add an item to your Missouri Star wish list? Start by going to MissouriQuoteCo.com and explore items you love. Once you've picked an item or two you want to add to your wish list, click Add to List. If you don't have a wish list or want a new one, click New. Give your new list a name, choose whether you'd like it to be private or public, and hit Create Wish List. Once complete, check the box next to your new list and your item will be added. To manage your wish list, go to Account and click Your Wish List. Here you'll see all your wish lists and you'll have the option to organize and edit them however you choose. To share your wish list with friends or family, click Share, add their email, and hit Share List. Or choose the blue Facebook icon to share to your page. Happy wishing! So hopefully that was informative to you. The wish list is amazing. You can use that year round. So not just at um, the holiday time, but all year round to add items that you are interested in. It's a great feature on our site. So be sure to check that out. Um, any questions or anything coming through, Liz? So a couple questions. Someone has noticed that bracelet. Oh, got. yes. Isn't this so cute? It's like a leather wrap measuring tape here. And I'll just show you. It has two different size snaps, so it is adjustable, which is kind of great. And I just think it's so cute. I just saw it on the table, and I thought, I probably need to wear that probably, today. Probably, yes. <laughs> and so it comes in black. And then we also have this pink one up Pretty. here. It's a little bit different. It is not. It doesn't have the two different sizes. It just has one little latch but still really cute and super fun. And I think we have a few other jewelry items that we've linked to as well on our um, gift guide. So you yep. can check through those. Most of them are sewing or notion related, which is really, really fun. Um, speaking of that, we have this awesome antique um, embroidery kit. And we, we had this last year and I just think it's so beautiful. And this is one of those items that is just so well made they're beautifully done, and you can tell that they're really high quality, which is a, a fun treat to have, especially if you do a lot of embroidery. And this is like a little needle case back here, if I can pop that out. There we go. It's snug and secure. It is. But you can keep all your needles inside there, which is just really fun. The details on these are so pretty. I love that. It comes in this great little wood case to keep it all organized and safe. So that's beautiful. All right, we have a few other fun things. Let's make sure I cover all the goodies. So we have, this is a new book that we've uh, put together with C&T Publishing. This is the Quilter's 10 inch square pre-cut companion. There's a great intro from Jenny and then some wonderful ideas on how to use your 10 inch squares. So this is 
really, really handy, especially if you have a, a nice stack of layer cakes in your stash that you want to work through. This book will give you lots of great ideas for that. We have a new calendar for Block Magazine that is, you know, ready for 2021. Hopefully we can do some more planning <laughs> than we managed to do this year with all the craziness that has gone on. But it's just so beautiful to enjoy all of the wonderful photography that you've seen in Block throughout the year. And they use that to make this great calendar for next year, which is really fun to enjoy those beautiful images in your sewing room or anywhere in your home. And speaking of Block, um, that's another great gift. You can uh, get a subscription for Block and we have gift cards, lots of awesome, awesome things. I feel like I've been talking so much. I know, that's okay. So behind you, there is also something oh, antique yes. and interesting. You're right, thanks okay. Liz. I almost forgot. So we have this, and this is a really fun kind of splurge item. We realize it's a little bit pricey, but the detail is so darling. It's this little quilt shop cuckoo clock, and it is a real cuckoo clock. It is just adorable with the little stacks of thread and bolts of fabric, and you can see there's quilts up in the top, and there's even a spool of thread. Is this the chime? Is that what they call yes. this? Yes. Yes. That's that, that pendulum that'll... The, the pendulum that, that uh, hangs down. It's just adorable. I love all the, the details on that. So that's a, a very fun little splurge item. That's right. I love that. And also, if you're like me, while we've been spending extra time at home, I love to do puzzles with my kids, much to Jake's, uh, you know, dismay as the dining room table will be covered for days on end <laughs> with incomplete puzzles, but we enjoy them. And we have um, some really fun ones available as part of our gift guide. This one even has lots of pretty Christmas quilts in the puzzle itself, which is really cool. It is, and I love that because it actually makes it easier to put together. Oh, exactly. If you've got <laughs> lots of little things that you can assemble. Yes. I love that too. Really, really cute. Okay. Oh, this is another one of my favorite things from last year. So we brought these back. This is a project case. This is another Missouri Star exclusive. So let me just show you this. I love this. It's so awesome. Well, especially as you know, things open back up and we can travel and go to retreats again. This is so great to be able to put your entire project in. It has the, this great um, section to kind of hold it in, like, like your luggage. And then this is even like a little working board where you can slide pieces inside. If you have small parts, you can keep those stored in there and have your larger blocks um, under there. Then there's places to put pins and rotary cutters. There's even a little pin cushion to hold needles. They've just really thought of everything in this design. You can store spare bobbins and things like that in these little pouches. And I have one of these and I really, really love it. I love that I can just put all the things I need in here, close it up, zip it up, and take it with me wherever I need to go. Um, and it's got a great, you know, shoulder strap handle. So it's gonna look very stylish. Easy to carry, <laughs> that's right. It's super fun, so that's really cute. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. We have all these really cute um, Jim Shore ornaments. Can you see these over here, Noah? Let's see, can we move the puzzles maybe just a little maybe bit? Maybe a little bit more? Yeah. All right, all stacked so in. So many goodies. Over here for now. Okay. And then we've got all these. There's a few little snowmen. And, and just a, a couple Santa. questions too while you're, while you're showing us these sure. guys. Um, if you're looking for the larger thimble cup, it's actually called the thimble container. Container, that's right. So that's maybe why you're not looking for the large. It's actually called the container. Um, links to everything are on our holiday gift guide, which is you can grab from our homepage at MissouriQuiltCo.com yes. or from the description below. That is and perfect. And yes, if you do subscribe to Block, it will start here in December, but okay. it will go for a year. It's an annual subscription. Perfect. Um, and if you wait just a hair, it'll be all next year. Exactly. I have to point out these darling little gnome ornaments. And they I are think, too cute. I think these three come as a they set. They do. The three come as a set. And they are so cute. We are big on gnomes in our family. So these guys probably need to come home with me. They're so cute. Look at them. This little snowman too. I love it. So 
those oh, are cute. really really great um, again gift items really fun things and I love Jim Shore's design because he kind of incorporates quilting in all of uh, his products which is really really fun they're beautiful so super great so Becky Tipton asks if items on your wish list are out of stock will you let us know when they're back in stock yes we will Absolutely. That's one of the benefits of having it on your wish list is when it's there, um, you will be, you'll get an email to let you know as soon as it's back in stock, which is super handy. Um, the wish list is really the best. So be sure to add all, any of these items that interest you, even if, you know, they can't all come this Christmas, they might be around for birthdays or things like that uh, later in the future. There's always great uses for those items to be on your wish list. So super fun. And I think that covers most of it, right? It covers most of it. So there's two more things. So we have okay. some projects and a light there. Yes. Oh, you're right. Okay. So this is one of the, the great um, items for your sewing room. We actually have a few different lights that are included in this. This one is really fun. It has uh, just a touch sensor and it has three different light settings um, to help brighten things up. Maybe it's four. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> Uh, um, to help brighten up your workspace and make it easier for you to work. It's also like very adjustable. So if you need to get it closer to your work surface or you know whatever you need, it has two different um, adjustment points to make it super versatile for that. And it can be good for your cutting table or your machine. Exactly, all kinds exactly. Of Jenny I think actually has, oh hers is a little different than this one, but she has a light similar to this on her table. And I keep thinking I probably need one of those, but you know. Mm -hmm. Haven't, haven't splurged yet. I'm usually lucky because I have a, a big window next to my area and I get a lot of light, which is nice. But are we, are we getting dangerously close again on this? She's helping me keep this on <laughs> so I can show you how to work it. Um, so we have, we use these wool pressing mats a lot. They're also included in our gift guide. So this is a great item. And I actually want to talk a little bit about this Laura Star iron. So this is called, whoo. That just means it's heating up and making steam. It's not a problem. <laughs> so this is the Laura Star Lift. It's a really amazing, mighty little machine. So it comes contained. The guys, when I walked in, thought it was like a little robot. <laughs> so it is just, it has this kind of canister back here where you put water. Um, this has really, really powerful steam, which can be amazing for quilting. So let's, let me show you a little bit how it works. I'm going to turn it a little bit here. So this is the iron itself, and it just lifts off the back. There are two heat settings. Can you see this, Noah? There are two heat settings. For quilting, you generally want to keep this on three. That's what you use for cotton or anything like that. Um, but if you have delicate fabrics, you would turn that down to two, and it actually does even come with an extra... Um, plate attachment that attaches to the iron itself to help protect that fabric. But like I said, for quilting, you just use it as is. So this actually lifts off. This piece here is silicone and it protects the, um, the housing, I guess, uh, <laughs> where it holds all the steam and the water. And you can take this off and set it on your table and use that as a rest for your iron, which is really great. Now I've got all these ornaments in the way. But you can see here, it's a great silicone rest. And I actually really love that it has this lip on the front edge because sometimes when you go to set it down, it will prevent you from sliding it off the edge or hanging it off the edge and accidentally scalding or burning um, anything that you're working on. So that is a great feature. Let me just kind of show you how this works. I've got a wrinkly piece of fabric here. There are little buttons right here on the iron, and that is how you get your steam. And so this is a wonderful iron without the steam. It's super hot, but the steam is really kind of magical. It's very powerful, and you can see once you hit that, all your, that. all your wrinkles just completely disappear there, which is so cool. Roseanne Riley says, I call it the dragon iron because it breathes steam it, and makes noise. It does. Like, pretty amazing. <laughs> just a, you know, sometimes you just have to play 
which it does. It's a lot of steam and it does an incredible job. Um, we really like it. It's, <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. It has a 10 minute shut off. So it does have an auto shut off. Um, if you want to turn it back on, the power button is just on this back side here. It's the large one. Can you see this, Noah? It's a large one in the center. And then these side lights are indicators. I believe this side is if you're low on water. And there's actually a filter in here to help protect the, the longevity of this iron um, and to still be able to use uh, just tap water. And so this is just tap water that's in there. There's a filter cartridge that's inside. And the other indicator on the other side is if your filter needs changed. So I think that covers the gist of this amazing machine. And if you've been following along on social media, we are, there's been actually an opportunity to enter to win one, right? That's right. And we are weekend, excited to announce the winner today. So we have drawn the name, and I have to tell you, I think this is the most amazing name, and it couldn't have been better <laughs> if we tried. The winner of her very own Laura Star Lift is Lisa F. from North Pole, Alaska. So we have one of these that will be coming your way, which is pretty amazing. Congratulations, Lisa. Yay. So we'll be so sending cool. it to North Pole. To the North Pole. That's <laughs> so cool. So this will be coming for you. Congratulations. Thank you to everyone for entering. It's so much fun. So the last thing that I want to cover is we do have some great projects that we've linked to um, on the holiday homepage and in the link of the description. And so it includes some things like that we made on previous lives, like this great um, project bag. That's right. So great for see. quilty friends exactly. or for yourself. You can give gifts to yourself too. You absolutely can. Jenny actually usually does that at the end of the year. She says, all right, we've done all the sewing and making for everyone else. Now we need to take a moment for ourselves. And so this is a great item either way. We've got the, the zigzag runner that we made just a few weeks ago included in there. And the fun checkerboard. I love this one. I love this one too with the storage pockets on the side and our little checker pieces stored right in there. So there are many more wonderful projects included. We hope that this inspired you and gets, gets you a little bit excited for the holidays that are coming up. There's so much great stuff out there, no matter your budget or um, who you're shopping for in, of your quilty friends. There should be things for everybody. So thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of time with us, and we will see you next week. Bye. See ya.